In this video, we are going to learn about SSS similarity. First, let's review what it means for two shapes to be similar. The basic idea is that they will always be the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. So what that will mean is that one shape will look like an enlargement or a reduction of the other shape. And the properties of two shapes that are similar are all of their corresponding angles will be congruent and all of their corresponding sides will be proportional. So let's say we had two triangles and they're both right triangles and their angles are each 30 and 60 besides the right angles and their side lengths are given as 1 root 3 and 2 for the smaller triangle and 4, 4 root 3, 8 for the larger triangle. Now we could show that those two triangles are similar by verifying that all three pairs of angles match up. So there's three pairs of corresponding angles and if we look at all the pairs of corresponding sides, 2 and 8, 1 and 4, root 3 and 4 root 3, they're all proportional and the scale factor is 4. So if you took any side from the smaller triangle and multiplied it by 4, you'd reach the length of its corresponding side in the larger triangle. So we could determine then that these two triangles must be similar. Now it can be a lot of work verifying all the angles and all the sides, so there are a few shortcuts that help us to determine that two triangles are similar without having to look at all that information because actually it's not necessary to know all that information to determine that two triangles are similar. So SSS similarity is one of those shortcuts and what it means and what it says is if all three pairs of sides are proportional so that's where the SSS comes in for side, 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 all three pairs of sides. Then the triangles are similar. So what that means is you can know no information about the angles and you can still figure out if the triangles are similar if you know all the side lengths and you can verify that all the sides are in the same proportion. So for example, if we had these two triangles and their side lengths were given, even though we don't know anything about the angles, we could verify whether or not these triangles are similar by looking at the side lengths. So I'm going to try to match up the corresponding sides and to do that I'm going to look for the longest side on my bigger triangle which is 9 and the longest side on my smaller triangle, which is 4.5, because I know that if they're similar, those must be the corresponding sides. Also, the next smallest, the next largest side would be 8 and 4. And then last we have 6 and 3. And then we can check all of the ratios to see if they're the same. So what you're checking for is if 9 over 4.5 is the same thing as 8 over 4, which is the same thing as 6 over 3. So we should reduce all of these to see what we get. 9 divided by 4.5 is 2. 8 divided by 4 is also 2, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. So because all of the ratios reduce to the same number of 2, that means that these two triangles must be similar by SSS similarity. So if we had our triangles labeled with letters, we could write that out, and we would say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF by SSS similarity. So even though we don't know what the angles are, we know the triangles are similar and we know that the scale factor is 2 because that's the common ratio between all the corresponding sides.